<laughs> My name is Jing Gao, and I live in Los Angeles, California. I'm a trained chef, but I would call myself an entrepreneur these days. I am the founder of a company called Fly by Jing, and we make premium, all-natural Chinese condiments and spices. A Lunar New Year looks like celebrating with friends over a feast. My feast of choice is hot pot. It is so easy and it's so delicious and really is a whole activity for everybody to join in. It just makes it that much more fun. We celebrate Lunar New Year every year. Since we moved away from China, we weren't able to join in the large celebrations with my extended family, but we would always celebrate every year with you know, friends and adopted family, and it's always an excuse for gathering over good food. I'm an only child, and I grew up mostly just with my parents, moving around to a different country, learning a different language every year until almost high school when we settled in Canada. At a very early age, I learned to adapt to my surroundings and try to blend in as much as possible. And as a result, I adopted a Western name when I was about, I think, six years old. And I didn't realize just how much of myself I had hidden as well as you know, hiding behind that name. When I moved to China for a job was when I started to reconnect with myself. And I started cooking Chinese food and started to express kind of my personal identity through my food. And as a result, I really got closer to myself and eventually came to reclaim my name, Jing. So this year, it's just going to be me and my boyfriend at home and just do it on a little bit of a smaller scale. He's not as familiar with hot pot, but definitely, you know, since meeting me, he's had more hot pot than ever. Hot pot is the ultimate communal dining experience. It involves a bubbling broth in the center of the table and just a million little plates of different ingredients. There's something for everyone. It's just so much fun and the act of sharing a meal, everybody, you know, cooking and, and enjoying the food from the same pot. I think it's a really, you know, bonding experience for everyone. There's a lot of traditions with Lunar New Year and the easiest is definitely wearing red. It's considered a lucky color. If it happens to be my year of the zodiac, it's said that it's actually an unlucky year for you. So you have to wear some form of red all year round, every single day. My parents would tell me you have to wear red underwear. So like they'd buy me lots of red underwear to wear it the entire year. My mom is a tiger, so I'll probably send her some red underwear. <laughs> Prior to moving to LA, Fly by Jing was actually a underground supper club that I had in Shanghai and I would do pop-up dinners in Shanghai and cities all over the world. And that's when I realized just how inaccessible these flavors were anywhere outside of China. And that's how the sauce business began. We've sold to people in every single state in the US, but Target actually represents the first time that we're entering a larger national chain. So it does feel like a level up and I really appreciated Target's interest in proper representation on their shelves. They have a lot of power to change the way that others access these flavors and traditions that are important to me. And it's really inspired me and my team to really continue to tell our story and hopefully inspire others to do the same. You know, moving to LA, starting this business by myself with no funding, without even knowing anybody in LA, that was definitely difficult. Then also, you know, facing a lot of resistance, you know, from the West, because here, Chinese food has always been a certain way or looked at, at in a certain way. And so there existed a lot of false narratives about Chinese food culture and Chinese culture at large and, and also Chinese people um, for centuries. And so, I'm a big believer, of course, in making things your own. In a similar way, I've done that with my Lunar New Year traditions. Celebrating with chosen family, around a table with hot pot, it's my way of expressing my respect for the traditions, but doing it in a way that makes sense for me.
You know, traditions are part of a culture and culture has to evolve for it to stay alive. They don't have to look the same as they did in generations past. Stay true to who you are and that could be totally rooted in tradition or it could be modern and just stay true to that because there is a space to tell your story and, um, and if you know, people tell you that there isn't, you just create that space for yourself. Thanks to Target for being a great partner to Fly by Jing and letting me share my story with you. I love being able to share my hot pot traditions for Lunar New Year with you all. Make sure to check out the other episodes in the series and don't forget to subscribe to Target's YouTube channel.